On this week's episode, we're going to take a look at the story behind the photo. The trip started off in Tennessee, and when we landed, we couldn't believe we were going to go skiing. It was like 80 degrees, no snow in sight. Hey, how's it going? Oh, shit. I fucked it up. What up? This is John X, with my buddy Mike C, and Carrie H. And we're filming for Solomon and Free Ski TV. We've journeyed into probably the worst place in the world to go <laughs> skiing. To ski slush, dirt, rocks, sticks, tree jibs, <laughs> anything you can name. We found a bunch of livestock and some train tracks. So Sims decided to jib the tracks and he killed it. It was awesome. So then we got to Gatlinburg. It was like mini tacky Vegas. Let me get this shit out of my mouth so I can say something funny. The people in Crystals were so stoked to see us. Crystals, the South's version of White Castle, encourages its patrons to take along a sack full. Y'all really ain't never seen a Crystals? Never. No. Oh my god. A what? A sack full. A sack full? Yeah. I'll give you a sack full. <laughs> Finally, we found the mountain, and there's a water slide next to it. So it was really an amusement park. Did you know that Ober Gatlinburg has eight and a half inches of snowfall this year? Eight and a half inches. That's what she said. <laughs> uh... We traveled all up the East Coast, went through West Virginia, found a cool fence to jump over, built up this big jump. It was pretty intimidating. The landing was really, really flat and icy. Here's the fence. Ski Patrol Jeff was there, and he was having a great time watching. He was really, really amped on what we were doing. That's Jeff. Hey, Jeff! Wave! That's Welcome Jeff. Welcome to West Virginia! Yeah! He's stoked. We're stoked. Stay tuned. Jay and Michael Feller got a sick shot of me doing a 360 over the fence, and it was so sick. So it was a great trip. I had a great time, great memories, made some cool friends. And can't wait to go back to Tennessee. Cause you know them care about it. I got tell an I I I whenever they up it, cause you know them care about it. I got tell an I I I That day Douglas and I hopped in our sleds and Chris Christie came out with us with the intent of getting up to the high alpine and just sessioning some of Wiss's finest. As we're getting closer and closer to the Alpine, the snow just started getting deeper and deeper, surprisingly deep actually. Next thing you know, we're trying to sled through like three feet of snow. We just weren't getting anywhere. So we end up turning back around, going back down a little bit lower, and uh, get back into the trees. There was just a lot of fun little pillows in there. It wasn't too deep for hiking, so you're able to hike up and get some laps. On the way down, the snow just blowing up in your face. They had this uh, one tree that had fallen over, and we were able to ride off of that thing. Made for an interesting afternoon in a place that you just wouldn't expect to get those kind of quality of turns in. It was interesting getting the photo back because that day I never really anticipated much coming out of it. You'd think to get the epic shot you'd have to be up in the epic zone and hucking yourself off of some serious features, but it's kind of cool to know that you can still just kind of play around these low key zones and uh, still manage to pull off capturing these really cool images. Uh, we went Saint Foy, France. The guys uh, at Saint Foy were amazing. They built us a sick jump. I sessioned it for three days with Sammy Carlson and Fabien Mayer. They had provided us with a really nice, true tabletop up really high in the French Alps, which is an amazing backdrop. We had a lot of different angles. Eric Simon was there shooting with his crane jib. The original idea was to uh, come out here and do some heli follows on it, but uh, that wasn't really working out too well. Dom was flying with his paraglider friends, and uh, we got a really good shot out of it, because uh, when you get shot by a paraglider, the guy comes so close to you, and it doesn't uh, disturb you while you're in the air. So 
we had a really good shot with our photographer Felix Rio with a good background, with a good sunset. And uh, there's a good shot of me doing a Cab 7 Japan nose grab. We had a great session, skiing uh, the jump for three days. But on the last day, uh, went a little bit too big, landed in a hole, the back seat, and uh, unfortunately, torn my ACL. That was the end of my season. But I'll be back strong next year for sure. On the next episode of Solomon Freeski TV, the sun comes out in Whistler.